Here is a look at the most up-to-date ECHL league standings, and I want you to look at the top two teams. At number one, the Florida Everblades. Those 108 points with two games remaining, that means they have clinched the Brabham Cup. Florida, the regular season points champion. So Toledo, not much to play for these last couple of games. They will not win the Brabham Cup. They've already clinched the conference and the division title. So Florida, congratulations to them. And Toledo, once again, only two games left in the regular season before the playoffs start one week from tomorrow. Now coming up tomorrow night, the Walleye played the final home game of the season against Fort Wayne. Head coach Dan Watson looking to surpass the 100-win milestone. The voice of hockey in Toledo, Matt Melzak, joined us earlier this week with his thoughts on triple digits. When I talked to him before the game and I mentioned something to him, you know, hey, you know, you you could have 100 wins if you win this game tonight. And and he said, you know what, it's a great accomplishment. It's, it's something that we'll certainly, you know, relish in. But it has a lot to do with the staff that is, is around me. You know, sure. Andy Delmore, Andy Delmore. another yep. guy who is going to get a lot of phone calls yeah. from teams, too, once this season is completed. There's no question about it. Uh, has been such a good addition to you know what Dan Watson does to what Delhi brings, too, on the defensive side and the way he's run the decor. I mean, think about where the goal is against is a 2.3 oh, a game. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Right. And, you know, that's not just goaltending. That's the defensive group True. as well. And uh, so you have to look at that as, 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 as he does as a head coach. But it, it does start a lot with him. And, and I think he's done such a great job. And I, I thought years ago, even before Derek Lalonde came in, I thought he had a chance to be a great head coach just from dealing with him on a daily basis mm -hmm. as an assistant yeah. and seeing the way he carried himself, handled the, the, his business and handled the D side. And you look at all the defensemen that have been up for the top defenseman of the year in Toledo, and that was under his watch. Right. Uh, you know, and the penalty kill that kept improving each and every year, even when we didn't have a good team. The penalty kill still got better from the previous year, which right. is amazing. And that says a lot about him. So you could kind of tell there was some writing on a wall that said, this guy could be a good head coach. Yeah.